It's the divisional round of the playoffs, and that means it's time for Pete Prisco's expert picks, starting off with the Falcons, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly. Pete, you like the Falcons. Not a big surprise, though. Well, I like the Falcons to go to win in, in, in Los Angeles, and they did just that. And why'd they do it? They ran the football, and they had problems stopping the run. The Eagles don't have problems stopping no. the run, though. They're pretty good against the run, but they are sixth in yards per against, not first. Like everybody likes to portray their that's uh, secondary though for Philly they're a little suspects sometimes. and I think Matt Ryan's going to be able to hit some big plays down the field to Julio Jones but the biggest thing for me is the defense the Falcons defense is playing very good football they were top ten defense in the league this year they will continue to be play like a top ten defense all those young fast guys yeah going to cause all kinds of problems for Nick Foles give me the Falcons minus the points they had a lot of success versus Todd Gurley a week ago in the wild card round you're suspecting the same versus Jay Ajayi let's go to the next game the Titans. Up at Foxborough, take on the New England Patriots. That's a big spread, 13 and a half points. So you like the Titans in this case. Give me that. Okay. Give, me those, give me those points. And you know why? 31st against the run, yards per attempt. Isn't that skewed? 31st. Isn't, hold on. Isn't that skewed a little bit? This defense was much, much improved in the second half of the season compared if to the first. If you're still 31st, you're not that much improved. 31st in yards per rush. Pretty bad and I'm not talking about yards per game. I'm talking about yards yeah. per rush. Yeah. That means Derrick Henry, the big back. And that offensive line was fantastic last week against the Chiefs. They will be good here. Are they going to win the game? No. But they're going to cover that number. Give me the Titans plus the points. Something tells me you might be wrong on that one. But let's move on to number three. The Jacksonville Jaguars are taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers, a rematch from earlier this year. And you like the Jacksonville Jaguars who are getting seven and a half points. It's too many points. Uh, I think that defense is in the head of Ben Roethlisberger. He's already started talking about him. I mean, this is a guy, after they beat him beat him last time and he threw five picks, he was wondering if he could do it anymore. And then last week he was saying, oh, I'd like to see him again. He's in their head. Look, Blake Bortles was awful on Sunday. He's been awful for a number of weeks No, now. he was awful on Sunday. Uh, he threw for 370 yards against San Francisco. Don't tell me about now. yards. He's been the king of garbage no, yards but here's the, and they lost that game. Yeah, but here's the bottom line. they got to allow him to throw on first down. I'm going to say it. I say it all year long. He did not throw on first down. They won that play that game like, oh, we're going to win 10-3. And you know what they did? They won 10-3. This week, forget about it, but they will keep it close. The Steelers aren't as good as you think they are. It will be a tight game. Give me the 7.5. All right, here's the issue is the Jaguars couldn't run the football. I think that might have attributed a little bit to Blake Bortles' struggles. Okay, last game, the Saints take on the Minnesota Vikings. Another rematch from week one of the NFL regular season, but far different circumstances. The Vikings don't have Sam Bradford nor Dalvin Cook in their backfield. Yeah, and the leading rusher for the Saints that day tied with Alvin Kamara was Adrian Peterson with 18 yards. This is a much different team. And, oh, by the way, when Drew Brees has to do it, Drew Brees can do it. You want me to get the quarterback scales out? I can do that. For Drew Brees, Case, Case, Drew Brees? Oh, come I mean, on. Come on. There's not a matchup there. Yeah. Right. Drew Brees, and I'll take the Saints on the road with the points. Well, there you have it. Pete Prisco's expert picks.